guys, my name is Natalie and this is Nat's Nook. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not, I'm glad to have you back for another video. So now moving on to Hidden Bodies. Um, this, Like I said, this is the sequel to You, uh, the book and the Netflix series. Uh, published 2016, so two years after You. And I, like I said, I read both of them just this year. As I said in the previous video, um, Joe, he has a new lover, Amy Adam. Um, she, she's a scammer for sure. Joe really thought that she was going to be the one. Um, not going to lie, they were a perfect fit in the beginning. She was actually better than Beck, if you ask me. Um, but then she took almost every valuable book in the bookstore that she worked with and that she worked at with Joe because you know he trusted her like that was that was his bae that was his boo and then one day after they had come home from a mini vacation he went to the store and all the valuable books like first second editions of, of books gone Amy literally took them to, of course, you know, sell them to wherever she was going. Where she was going? L.A. So the book goes from New York to L.A. and I love it. Um, so now Joe is on the move to find Amy and kill her because it's like, you used me to get what you want and then you just leave? He's like, nah. I don't think so, Pam. I don't think so. So, he's like, okay, I'm gonna find you. And I'm gonna kill you. Period. So, he goes to LA himself, moves there, um, gets out of New York, and just tries to... His number one mission is finding Amy. But along the way, he meets some people. He does more damage, and he falls in love yet again. I still don't understand, like... Do you have to actually like get in trouble for what you do in order to realize that you're not okay in the head? Like Joe, hello. He kills a celebrity. He kills a cop. Well, not really a cop, but a wannabe celebrity that went into law enforcement in LA. He kills someone that who, he kills someone who lives in his apartment that was onto him about his killing. And then he tries and kill his lover's brother after he stole a movie idea that Joe actually wrote. Joe got no credit for it, but he almost got in trouble for it. He almost got caught um, when he realized that he didn't fully do his job right when trying to kill um, his lover's brother. So his lover, his new lover, after Amy, so that's new lover in the beginning, then throughout the book he finds a new lover. Her name is Love. His brother, her brother's name is Forty. Um, and they are actors, actresses, and writers. Like Joe himself, I guess you would say. So she, Joe falls in love with Love and realizes that Love is who he feels like he was supposed to really be with like who he needs to spend the spend the rest of his life with and i'm like joe you've said this before remember in the first book with with beck no okay made her soul rest in peace but anyway <laughs> so it's i like i still can't like my thoughts still aren't fully like grasping all of what happens in both books and i'm just like can someone please see how toxic joe is please it's funny because towards the end of hidden bodies um joe actually comes out to love about everything that he's done all like the, his relationships his the people he's killed his his life before those people how the way he grew up how his mom treated him and everything how um the owner of the bookstore he used to work with mr mooney how he treated him and i'm just like 
Are you going to call the cops or do I have to, sis? Love actually accepts it. And I'm like, so y'all both crazy. Makes sense. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> so it just got even more disturbing. Um, and this, she's into it. Because it's like, she understands. Because she's had some things that she's done in her past. And that her brother has done in his past that, you know, she wouldn't want the world to know. And I'm like, okay, so y'all definitely belong together. Okay, so that everything shit he wanted with Beck, he gonna get with love. Because she with it. Whatever he, whatever wave Joe was riding, she's on it too. Insane. Insanity, if you ask me. Even after everything, 40, he does die. Um, he gets hit by a car. How ironic. Um, he gets hit by a car because in the beginning of the book, Joe almost got hit by a car. Cop car. The cop that he actually killed. Hmm. Um, and it's just so... Wow. Because I really thought that 40 was going to eventually overdose on all the cocaine and heroin, heroin that he was ingesting. And I'm like, dude, you're finna, you're finna die. Like, no joke. But no, he just gets hit by a car. I guess he got struck that hard and he's out like just gone. So, um, of course, J Joe pretends to be, you know, that brother um, at his funeral, does a nice eulogy and everything, makes everyone um, attending cry, the celebrity guests, family, and friends. And he just becomes Joe. Like, his name is now out there. So I guess in, even in the end, he got what he wanted. He's expecting as well, so he's assumed to be father. But all of that kind of came crumbling down when, like I said, him killing Peach came to bite him in the butt. They, they reopened the case and things were put together, pieces were put together and it all led back to Joe. And so while uh, Joe was living his best life in LA, LAPD was like, oh, we got you. And we're gonna send you to New York because you're a criminal. You're a serial killer. You're a murderer. You need to do time. Joe was just like, you all can't see past this? You all can't see that I'm a changed man? What? Yo. He was really like, I believe that law, that the law should just like look past all of this because I am not who I once was. Me killing those people were in terror of my past. That's not how that works. If you kill someone, doesn't matter how long ago it was, you will get punished for it. Hello. And I'm just like, okay, yeah, he's definitely like nuts. Insane. Insanity. And love is right there by him through everything. She is there to help get his story straight, to help, you know, with the, to help get them off his back and be like, oh, you have no evidence. You have no proof that he did anything. And they're, they're in cahoots. And I'm just like, yo, this is what we do. We help those people. I guess I'm a snitch. <laughs> I guess I'm just a snitch because I don't care how deep in love we are. I don't care if I'm carrying your child. You kill people. He killed Benjamin. He killed Peach. He killed Beck. He killed a celebrity. He killed an innocent girl who just wanted to be something in LA even though she was desperate for it. You kill well, you tried to kill 40. That's six people. Oh, and then you kill your ex, Candace. Like, that was the very first person you killed. Seven people. And you don't think you're going to jail? You're going to jail. Period. <laughs> like, yo. You did it to yourself, buddy. That's all I have to say. All while trying to keep the person you loved close to you. Making sure that no other person or thing came in between you two. 
and then also for revenge. I'm just glad when him and Amy met up towards the end, uh, well, he did find her, well, they ran into each other, that he realized, she told him about himself. She told him the truth. It might have hurt, but she told him the truth. He didn't kill her, which I was kind of happy for, because I was like, yo, you do not want any more blood in your hands. You don't. Not after everything has, like, calmed down, and, like, you and love are, like, in this now. But then... His world came crashing down. So he's in jail. And I can't wait to see what Caroline Captain's had for book three. Still highly disturbed. Still. But it's different for me. That genre of reading, different. I Like I said, I would not make it a romance. Genre, n romance? Maybe. More so thriller and it was very erotic so i may even put it under erotica like it's, it wasn't like 50 shades erotic but like it was a lot of yeah it was a lot it was a lot i wouldn't recommend anyone under the age of 18 to read it so yeah um but as far as ratings i give both books four and a half stars like i said um it was a bit disturbing for me. For others, it may not be all that disturbing, but because of the fact that there are a lot of toxic people out there, people that actually are deep, so into love or wanting to be loved or um, looks for love to a point where they do anything for it, that's not healthy, that's not okay. Um, and I know that it's fiction, but it's in a way, it's real. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, of course, like it. Like it. Um, leave a comment about, if you read the book, leave a comment about your favorite part. Or if you have any questions that you might want to ask me about it, and you're not too sure about reading the book, ask them below. Um, and make sure you subscribe, because I am going to be putting out a lot of content this month before I get back into the books myself. So, keep on the lookout for that. Alright. I guess I'll see you in the next time. <laughs> Bye, guys.